the Lord, my friends. No one's exempt from this. They all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned and all is in need of a Savior. And there is only one Savior, and that is Jesus. Jesus died for your sins. And when Jesus came, he came as the Lamb of God who took away the sins of the world. He died for sin. But when Jesus comes back, he is not coming back as a gentle lamb. He is coming back as the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And he is coming back to take vengeance on all those who do not obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. He is coming back in flaming fire, my friends, and we are warning you today that there is going to be a day where you will stand before his judgment. And without the saving grace of Jesus Christ, my friends, you are going to bust hell wide open. You are going to be judged for your sins. And the Bible says that Jesus is going to command his servants to bind you hand and foot and cast you into the furnace of fire because you had nothing to do with his son. You had nothing to do with God. And this is what we see today. We see God that's crying out to a lost and dying generation. Jesus Christ reaches out over and over and over again, but people reject him. They deny the Savior. They love sin rather than the Savior. They love darkness rather than light. They want the things of wickedness. And they don't want Jesus, my friends. And I'm telling you today, if you don't want nothing to do with the Savior, Jesus Christ, I'm warning you today that there's a place specifically designed for you, and it's called Hellfire. And my friends, if you got some sense in your mind today, you want to think about where you're going to spend eternity, because you're going to breathe your last breath, and whatever you think and done on this side of eternity won't mean nothing when you stand before God if you rejected Jesus. For you're going to be rejected by God. You're going to face God's rejection for all of eternity if you reject the Savior. And today we are pleading with you today, think about your soul. Come to Jesus while you are still alive. You're not promised tomorrow, ma'am. Come to the mercy seat of God. I see there's a lot of old people out here. People who have been blessed with a lot of years to live. A lot of old people out here. Your time is running out, old people. You lived a long life. It's time to come to Jesus. Because soon and very soon, you're going to breathe your last breath. And there won't be no games on the day of judgment. If you reject Jesus on this side of eternity, you will face God's rejection. You can't get past that, my friends. It's appointed once for man to die, and then after that, the judgment. That means you have an appointment with death, and you have an appointment with the judgment seat of God. And we need to make sure our heart is right with the Lord Jesus. There is only one name underneath heaven that man can be saved, and that is Jesus, my friends. Jesus is Savior, and Jesus is Lord. And God has appointed a day of judgment where he is going to judge each and every soul in righteousness. He sees all the secret sins. He sees the drunkenness. He sees the pornography. He sees the cheating on the wife. He sees the cheating on the husband. He sees those who's trying to be players and use women as whores. He sees everything. He sees the drug addiction. He sees the anger and the hatred you have towards people. And my friends, if you do not repent and get washed in the blood of Jesus, you are going to bust hell wide open. And this is what God wants you to know today. That he is pleading with you. He is saying, wake up. It's time for you to wake up and come out of the sleepiness of the world. See, the world has rocked you to sleep and God's trying to wake you up right now into reality. He's saying, come to Jesus, my friends, before it's too late. Come to the mercy seat of God. For Jesus said, so likewise, if you do not repent, my friends, you are going to perish. That means you're going to go to hell. That means on that day of judgment, it won't matter how nice your car is. 
It won't matter how much money you had. It won't matter how good you dressed. All that will matter is did you give your life to Jesus Christ? And if you have rejected the Savior, my friend, you are going to be rejected by God. And I want you to think about that. Don't be distracted with the cares of this life. Wake up, oh sleepers. Wake up. God is trying to wake people up today. Come on now. It's time for us to come out of our sleep. Judgment is at the doors. God is going to shake the foundations of the nations in these last days. He is going to utter his judgments against a wicked and adulterous generation that rejects Jesus. And my friends, we don't want to be in that crowd of God rejectors. We don't want to be part of the people who reject Jesus Christ. Sir, you can let go of the world. You don't have to listen to that worldly music and let it pollute your mind. I used to be caught up in worldly music and it polluted my mind. My friends, I'm not no religious person that's been raised in church. I used to be a drug dealer. I used to be a drug addict and an alcoholic, but I'm here to testify to you that Jesus Christ set me free. And the Bible says who the Son of Man sets free, they are free indeed. See, you've been bound so long in your life, you don't know what freedom is. You've been institutionalized by sin, hallelujah. Just like people are institutionalized in prison, you've been institutionalized in sin, ma'am. You've been in sin so long, you don't know what freedom is. And you need to come and taste that the Lord is good. You need to be liberated by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But you gotta be willing to come. You gotta be willing to understand that you have broken the laws of God. You have broken the laws of God, all of you. None of us are exempt for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That means you sin, you sin, you sin, you sin. All of you in these cars have sinned and broken the laws of God and you are in need of a savior. And there is only one savior and that is Jesus. And without the saving grace of Jesus Christ, you are going to bust hell wide open. And I'm pleading with you today, come to the mercy seat of God while you are still alive. Come to the mercy seat of Jesus Christ while there is still breath in your body.